I'm Emma. And I'm Bria. Welcome to the Forest Fire. Today is Monday, November 5th. Let's see what's going on in the inbox. Saturday attendance makeup will be November 10th, December 1st, and December 8th from 8 to 11 in A House. Turn in permission slips to an administrator by Friday before. Media Center Bookstore is now open. Purchase your school supplies today. College Application Month, November 9th. Seniors will have an opportunity to fill out college applications in Computer Lab G103. First place winner of the DQK goes to Miss Anderson's second block class. They collected $131 for the Heart Association. Wow, thanks Miss Anderson's class. That's awesome. <laughs> The winner of the car detail from Sparks Toyota is Miss Henson. That's it for today's update. Now let's check in with Elena who interviewed Miss Matthews. Hey guys, I'm Elena here with Miss Matthews and Miss Wilder talking about the school supply store. So where's the school supply store at? The school supply store is located here in the media center. What kind of things are sold in the supply store? We have some really neat things. We have some neon highlighters. We have some great little uh, well, oh, oh well. Some little pads, yeah, pads and in uh, different shapes. Different shapes. We have lots of erasers, uh, composition books, uh, graph paper for all you great uh, uh, math students, and we have notebook paper and pencils with Carolina Forest High School. <laughs> <laughs> and all sorts of other things. So you just have to come. Come and have a look for yourself. That's right. And what times during the day can a student come by and get what they want? Uh, they can come anytime between 8 and 3.45. Uh, we'll be glad to help anyone with any of their needs. We also sell poster board paper. <laughs> Thank you guys. Come out and check out the school supply store. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Elena. Here's Liza with your forest fire forecast. Hi, I'm Liza with your forest fire forecast. Today we have a high of 67 with partly cloudy skies. Election day is looking pretty dreary with overcast skies, a 60% chance of rain, and a high of 57. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Liza, and now let's check out our CF Sports with Joey and Jack. What's up, guys? I'm Jack. And I'm Joey here with your Forest Fire Sports. Let's see what's going on in the forest. Junior Varsity Girls Basketball Tryouts will be held on November 7th and the 8th at 345 to 545. Must have a physical. Gotta have it. No way around it. The Junior Varsity Boys Basketball Tryouts today at 345. Boom. Soccer workouts will begin today at 4.30 on the practice field. You must have a physical. Must have a physical. Congrats on the varsity football team for closing out their season with a double overtime win over Conway. Congrats to the girls' golf team for finishing 12th place in the state tournament in Columbia. Good job, girls. That's it for the sports report. Now let's pass it on to Steve. We're going to interview a football player about the game on Friday. Hey guys, I'm Steven. I'm here with Will Brunson from the football team. So what is your guys' mentality going into this game? Well, we knew that we had to execute offensively for us to be in it and defense to get some stops. So just keeping our mind focused on what our jobs were to do and throughout practice, we practice all week. Just to go in and do that, it's just, that's what our mentality was. Near the end of the game, how were you feeling as it went into overtime, in double overtime? Well, when, whenever we scored our first touchdown in overtime, I knew we had it. Then we went into double overtime and defense got a great stop, held them to a field goal. And I knew it was the offensive job to put it in the end zone and that's what we did. So, how does this motivate you guys for next year? Well, it gives us a good edge going into next year, but we got a, young, a lot of young players too. So, just working hard in the offseason, getting timing better, getting our better fits, whatever. But uh, just getting better for the next season. And this win definitely helps. All right, thanks, Will. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Steve. Now, let's send it back to Emma and Brea. Thanks, guys. That's it for today. And have a marvelous Monday.